I've been wrong for five years now. And uh, I live in Canada. Any Canadians here? Woo! Oh, Canada. Your tripod. Um, anyway. Been wrong for five years in Canada. I live in Ontario. Uh, we drove here. It's about a uh, seven, eight hour drive. Depends how much you have to pee. Fruitarians have to pee a lot. Oh yeah, it's double. Double or So how to warm food in the winter? That's our next step. So it could be as simple as putting food on the counter and taking it out of the fridge um, a couple hours prior to, to uh, consuming it. Or you could fill the sink or a bowl with warm water and put the food into that. So let's say you wanted to make zucchini noodles and you have a zucchini in the fridge. Well, you could soak that zucchini for a half hour in some warm water and spiralize it and then it'll be warm. But there are better ways. There's the double organic, double boiler, da da da, patented. So what that is, uh, so let's say you want to either warm up some food that you just made, or warm up leftovers that are pulled from the fridge. If you take two uh, large metal salad bowls or metal mixing bowls, the ones that uh, you bang and go boing, something like that, take two of those bowls, they can be the same size, one could be bigger, one could be smaller, Fill the larger of the bowls with hot water, go halfway full. Fill, let's say you have a leftover zucchini pasta, it's got the sauce all on it, it's a stew. The type of food you're going to be warming up here is a, a really thick stew-like food or chili or something. Put that in the smaller of the metal bowls. Now put that food that's in the bowl onto the hot water. It's like a double boiler. Then put a, a tea towel, a large tea towel on that. And you can change the water a couple times over the, over the course of one or two or three hours and stir the food and it's going to get warm. Take some time, but it is an option. So you could use the stove top to, on, like, on like one, on, on a scale of one to ten, like very low. Uh, I personally don't do this, but some people do uh, like to slowly warm their food up. It's an option. My stove is just covered in fruit, so it doesn't get... It doesn't need to be used, but I'll tell you what you can use your oven for shortly. Uh, you can blend your sauces a little bit longer. A bit. Just a little bit longer. Question? Yeah, how long is a bit? A bit for blending? Well, depends on the uh, blender. If you're using five minutes. minutes. Five minutes for, to make a hot. It's actually like hot. Five yeah, yeah, yeah. So four minutes to, to pull warm. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it depends on what you're blending, how thick it is, the type of blender you're having. The amount that's in it, because if you do like a small amount, yeah. that'll get really hot really fast. Yeah, yeah. So uh, it's something that you can kind of monitor. Blend for 30 seconds, let's check. Blend for 30 seconds, let's check. But if you blend it and you open it up and a poof, a bunch of steam comes out, you might have done it a bit too long. Yeah. You can warm things in the dehydrator if you have one. Uh, this list kind of goes from uh, anything that's like something that anyone can do to uh, things that like, you need to dehydrate for. You can serve food on hot plates. So you could take it uh, out of hot water, you could be fresh with a dishwasher, like a hot, like hot plate, or you could just heat it in the oven or something like that. If it's on a hot plate, the food will remain hot longer if, you, if it's already hot. It uh, kind of gives you that uh, psychological benefit. And warming spices. So it could be cinnamon, ginger, cayenne, something like that. You can add that to your food if you like as well. I'm proud to announce the release of my free raw recipe app. Do you want over 100 original raw food recipes in the palm of your hand? Click the links to download or search Double Organic on your phone. Oh yeah, it's Double Organic. Did you know I offer raw food coaching? Comment, like, share and subscribe. Got epic recipes, fitness and raw food motivation. Connect with me on Facebook, Instagram, and of course, YouTube.
Whoa, look at all those recipes. Those look tasty. Give me some of that.